Good evening and welcome to the Allen Township Board of Education. Today is April 25th, 2022 for the public meeting. May I have a roll call, please? Mrs. Avery? Here. Dr. Brashera Blau? Dr. Billowoo? Here. Mrs. Chester? Mrs. Colgettis? Here. Mr. Gentile? Here. Dr. Parmenter? Here. Mr. Dace? Here. And Mrs. Carmen? Here. Can we all raise for a flag salute led by Mr. Jim Gentile? Thank you. In accordance with Public Law 231, both adequate and electronic notice this meeting was provided to the press, the Gallery Township Municipal Building, and the district website on or before February 19, 2022. We do have approval of minutes this evening from March 14th, a special meeting, executive session, March 21st, regular meeting, and executive session, March 30th, special meeting, and executive session. And I'm first to approve the minutes. So moved. Um, Thank you. All in favor? Aye. Any opposed? This is out of us from State Rule 7. First will be March 14th, Executive Session. Second is March 21st, Executive Session. And then March 30th, Special Meeting, and March 30th, Executive Session. This is State Rule 12. Anyone else? Yes, I need to abstain from March 30th also. And likewise, I abstain from March 30th. Thank you. Moving on to reading of communications, please. Thank you, President Corman, and good evening, everyone. We do have one letter this evening from uh, Kenneth Colemno, uh, who is the Chief uh, Operating Officer of Cooper Levinson Attorneys of Law, thanking the staff members of Galloway Schools for their generous donation of $2,805 in support of the Let Us Eat Please program. For those of you not familiar with this program, it's a partnership with Cooper Levinson and the Food Bank of New Jersey. Uh, during the summer, families in need in our community are able to obtain, obtain non-perishables and fresh produce every other week throughout the summer. Thank you. And moving on to presentations. Yes. Item 1 uh, really is a momentous and exciting uh, achievement to celebrate. The Galloway Township Middle School Think Day team ranked second place at this year's Mainland Regional Think Day competition. So I would like to invite uh, the advisors, Mrs. Brower and Mrs. Days. Uh, I'm gonna pick up that wireless mic and we'll come down here, uh, and then we'll go from there. Thank you, Mr. Conover. Uh, I'll ask Ms. Daisy and Ms. Brower to join me. And uh, as I said, this really is exciting to be able to recognize our students. And what we're going to do is your advisors will be calling your names. And when they do, if you'll come down and maybe we'll step over here and let the students line up here. And then after everyone is called, uh, we'll have an opportunity for photographs, and maybe someone would like to explain a little more about what Think Day is. Yeah. Um, all right, so our Think Day team is kind of like our school's competitive trivia team. Um, and especially after not having Think Day last year, we weren't really sure what Think Day would be this year, kind of having 7th and 8th graders for the first time coming out. Um, and these kids did an incredible job just preparing, and I know they're involved in a lot of other stuff. Um, they showed a lot of commitment, and they made us really, really proud at our competition at Mainland. So, um, you know, just answering questions, all kinds of random knowledge that you guys know, and incredible wealth of stuff. Except how to spell business. <laughs> Which you should never forget, for the sake of it. Uh, Mr. Days 
our board member to join us. Uh, normally the board president joins us, but uh, Mr. Days does have a grandson being recognized. So Mrs. Carmen graciously said, go on, Mr. Days, go on, Mr. Days. Congratulations again, and thank you to our students and their advisors, and certainly the parents. We have one other presentation this evening, and I believe she's here. Do I see? Oh, there you are. So we are very pleased to announce that uh, teacher of technology at Smithville Elementary School, uh, Miss Sarah Bryling, was named as the Philadelphia Eagles and Ex Alta All Pro teacher of the year. And besides this recognition uh, for her dedication and service, the school has received a $5,000 grant. So come on down, Ms. Frymer, so we can recognize you. Our next presentation uh, is the 2022-2023 school uh, budget, and then there will be an opportunity for public comment. We always encourage everyone to stay for the public budget presentation, but if you are so inclined to go on about your evening, you are certainly welcome to do that as well.
It's a small and important part of our, 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 our public. Uh, so, those of you that regularly attend board meetings know that this is not the first time uh, we've spoken about the public, uh, the budget publicly, and I am pleased to present the budget on behalf of Mrs. Nixon, our school business administrator, as well as our entire administrative team, uh, who worked hard along with the Board of Education to prepare our budget. So there's a lot of different factors that guide budget development, and when you look at this list, all of the bulleted points except the last one, you see every year we present the budget. Obviously, the pandemic and other things happening in our society have uh, affected uh, our students and ultimately our staff. Uh, this particular quote is one of many that we have heard uh, from various categories of uh, certificated staff, administrators, teachers, uh, families, parents, and guardians. And if you were at our March presentation, you know we offered several uh, quotes from staff members, but this one really wrapped uh, it all up into one in terms of how uh, the transition back and, you know, the pandemic continues to impact our students from every aspect. So I'll just pause a quick moment to give you an opportunity to read that. This picture really says it all. Expenses have gone up, revenues have gone down, and student needs have expanded in every direction. Our proposed budget enables us to maintain the programs and services that we have, uh, prioritize class size, and also in uh, three areas, uh, increase direct services to students. Intervention teachers for each elementary school, classroom assistance to support primary grades at each elementary school, and a teacher and an assistant for a middle school alternative program. Uh, when we look at the non-instructional side, we look at safety and security, cleaning and maintenance, uh, technology, particularly cybersecurity, transportation, and as we've talked about many times over the years, uh, federal and state requirements. Uh, in preparing the budget, after all the departments uh, submitted their needs and requests, uh, we needed to reduce the budget by $3.6 million. We were able to still do some of those things by using the various federal funds we received, and we are also a district that uh, many years ago heard the taxpayers about saving uh, for maintenance and capital kinds of projects. So we do have reserves in those areas. Uh, when we use the reserves, there's no need for a referendum or increased taxes beyond the local budget. And I will add that we are one of the few districts that uh, has almost no debt and has healthy reserves. Uh, the basics. Uh, the year we are in, we did not raise taxes going into this school year. And when we look ahead to next year, uh, our state aid was decreased. Uh, so if you go back to that uh, early slide, revenues down, costs up. You can see our tax levy for next year, uh, excuse me, our current tax levy and at the 2% cap, what we are able to increase, as well as because in past years, we did not increase the budget to the amount available, we have over a million dollars in banked cap. As I mentioned, we have those areas of additional uh, direct services in the form of teachers and assistants, and that bank cap is helping us make that possible. So how does this uh, look in terms of actual taxes? 
Well, one of the things we have to look at is the rateables, and they did increase uh, by about $600,000. And so when we look at the 2% uh, levy increase plus the use of the bank, we're over $1.8 million. And if you go to this number right down here, for a home assessed at $200,000, it is a little over a 66 cent increase for the year. Uh, earlier I mentioned that low debt um, that we have that is part of the tax levy. Uh, the only uh, thing that that applies to are the solar panels on the middle school roof, which actually help with uh, electric costs here at the school. I uh, always like to show some pictures of our students. All different settings. Uh, obviously, some of these are very recent from the pandemic, either last year or this year. As well as uh, they range from preschool all the way through the middle school. So to conclude, uh, I'll end with a quote about the importance of education. and then indicate that uh, there will be an opportunity for public comment as well as a board comment, and then the board will be voting. Uh, and as noted, this budget uh, after the March meeting was uh, submitted to and approved by the County Office of Education. Thank you. So be it resolved that to approve the school budget, the school district budget for 22-23 school year is approved by the Executive County Superintendent of Schools as follows. The total budget is $75,588,241, of which the local tax levy is $35,825,572. Be it further resolved that the need for $1,162,800 of unused spending authority bank cap be included in the base budget. The need for this bank cap is to offset the increases in salaries and health benefits. These costs cannot be deferred or incrementally completed over an extended period of time. Be it further resolved to acknowledge that the 22-23 budget, as described above, results in a general tax levy of $35,712,752 and a debt service fund tax levy of $112,820. Be it further resolved, pursuant to code, budget of travel expenses do not exceed $50,000. Also pursuant to code of maximum dollar amounts for public relations and professional services have been established and are detailed in the appropriations section of the 22-23 budget. Can I have a motion to approve the budget as read? So moved. Thank you. Is there any board comment? Before we vote, I am going to open it up for public comment at this, at this time. If there's any public comment, just please come to the microphone. Seeing none, can I have a roll call, please? Yes. Mr. Gentile? Yes. Dr. Parmenter? Yes. Mrs. Avery? Yes. Mrs. Cole Geddes? Yes. Vice President Dace? Yes. And President Carmen? No. Superintendent's report, please. Thank you, and thank you to the board for your support. I'll turn it over to Mrs. Halk. I'll go for the attorney's report. Good evening, everyone. I hope everyone had a nice break. I've had an opportunity since our last meeting to work on contractual matters, personnel matters, policy matters, and student matters with the administration. Thank you. Is there any questions for Mrs. Halco? Okay, moving on to student enrollment, please. Thank you. As of April 14th, 2022, in district, we have 3,117 students. When we add in students in various out-of-district placements, home instruction, charter, and choice, the total increases to 3,279 students. Um, 
also attached are the March out of school suspension report. We have uh, one action item in this section, which is a resolution to accept, modify, or reject the HIP report presented on March 21st. Uh, not an action item would be number five, which would be a HIP report from March 17th through April 13th. Thank you. Can I motion to approve item number four, resolution to accept the harassment intimidation and bullying report? So moved. Sorry. Thank you. Is there any board comment? May I have roll call? Mr. Gentile? Yes. Dr. Parmenter? Yes. Mrs. Avery? Yes. Dr. Oh, I'm sorry. Mrs. Colgettis? Yes. Vice President Dace? Yes. And President Carmen? Yes. Curriculum and instruction, please. Thank you. This evening we have item one, which is homeschooling for a student. Item two, a Rowan University clinical practicum student. Item three, a Stockton University student teacher. Item four, I'm pleased to say, is the return of the eighth grade class trip to Beach Cobra Camping Resort. Item five is for middle school students to volunteer at the food bank. Item six is for middle school students to participate in a road cleanup. And item seven is a resolution to approve the track schedule for GTMS. Thank you. Can I motion to do items one through seven under curriculum instruction? So moved. Is there any board comment? May I have a roll call? Mr. Gentile? Yes. Dr. Permenter? Yes. Mrs. Avery? Yes. Mrs. Colgettis? Yes. Vice President Dace? Yes. And President Carmen? Yes. Finance and school operations. Mr. Gentile, can you give us an update? Yes, the uh, committee met prior to this evening's meeting. There were no uh, questions with regard to the bills list or the financial reports or the agenda items on today's uh, board agenda. Um, there were some additional requests and just uh, one item that I would note for future references. Uh, with the uh, recent styrofoam and plastics ban, uh, while we have submitted, I think that approved for a waiver to continue to use the stuff we have on stock, uh, we anticipate that next year we're going to have to uh, purchase the stuff that is compliant. It, that reflects a substantial increase, for which, of course, there's been enough funds coming from the state with regard to that. Uh, that will be billed to the Enterprise Account for the School Lunch Program. We don't anticipate it will uh, uh, negatively impact that as far as the bottom line goes, but it's just another uh, complicating factor with regard to mandates that come down, laudatory mandates that come down, but are not funded. That's all I have. Thank you. Thank you. Is there any questions for Mr. Dittillo? Okay, moving on to finance and school operations, please. Thank you. Resolutions 1 through 8 are to approve the monthly financials and bills list. Resolution 9 and 10 um, are for approval in relation to the American Rescue Plan, um, home and Homeless Children and Youth grant application. Resolution 11 is to approve submission and acceptance for a child care American Rescue Plan grant. Um, for the schools listed. Resolution 12 is to approve submission and acceptance of the Philadelphia Eagles grant for the teacher award announced earlier this evening. Resolution 13 is to approve out of district travel uh, for uh, New Jersey Asbro Spring Conference as well as um, school boards workshop in the fall um, for administrators and board members. Resolution 14 is uh, special education to approve. Um, nursing services with Bay Out of Nursing. Resolution 15 is to approve home instruction um, as identified for students. Resolution 16 is to approve the second of two emergency bus evacuation drills for the current school year. And resolution 17 is to approve a tra joint transportation agreement with special services for the next school year um, if needed. Thank you. Can I motion to approve items one through 17? So Under, sorry, sorry, sorry. Thank you. Can I have a second? Thank you. Is there any board comment? May I have a roll call? Mr. Gentile? Yes. Dr. Carmenter? Yes. Mrs. Avery? Yes. Mrs. Colgettis? Yes. Vice President Dace? Yes. And President Carmen? Yes. Facilities and maintenance. Thank you. Resolution 1 is to approve a withdrawal from maintenance reserve for the project listed. Resolution 2 is to award a bid for the parking lot improvement project at Reeds Road, um, as well as Roland Rogers, to the lowest uh, bid received uh, with all the amounts listed uh, for the base bid and alternate bids, 1, 2, and 3. The other bids received are also listed on the agenda. And Resolution 3 is to approve the withdrawal.
withdraw from capital reserve to fund the parking lot project. Thank you. That motion approved items one through three under facilities and maintenance. So moved. Is there any word comment? May I have roll call, please? Mr. Gentile? Yes. Dr. Parmenter? Yeah. Mrs. Avery? Yeah. Mrs. Colgettis? Yes. Yeah. Vice President Days? Yes. Yeah. And President Carmel? Yes. Community uses school facilities? Thank you. This evening we have resolutions for PAL basketball, Girl Scouts of America, the Devotional Association of Yogeshwar, and the Atlantic United Soccer. Can I motion to provide items one through five under community uses school facilities? So moved. Is there any word comment? May I have roll call, please? Mr. Gentile? Yes. Dr. Permenter? Yes. Mrs. Avery? Yes. Mrs. Colgettis? Yes. Vice President Days? Yes. And President Carmen? Yes, personnel. Thank you. As always, with retirees, I will read the uh, resolutions in their entirety. And I should mention that we do have two of our retirees in attendance this evening. Item one is a resolution to accept, with regret, the letter of intent to retire from Edward Lou, Galloway Township Middle School teacher, effective June 30th, 2022. Mr. Luke has worked in the Galloway Township Public Schools for 37 years and his dedication and service to the students and staff are appreciated by our entire school family. Thank you. Can I motion to provide a one under personnel, please? So moved. Is there any board comment? May I have a roll call? Mr. Gentile? Yes. Dr. Carmenter? Yes. Mrs. Avery? Yes. Mrs. Colgettis? Yes. Vice President Days? I guess I have to say yes. And President Carmen? Yes, with regret. Thank you. Item two is a resolution to accept with regret the letter of intent to retire from May Gruber, Roland Rogers Elementary School Assistant Principal, effective June 30th, 2022. Mrs. Gruber has worked in the Galloway Township Public School District for 30 years, and her dedication and service to students and staff are appreciated by our entire school family. Thank you. Can I have a motion? motion to approve item two under personnel? So moved. Is there any word comment? May I have a roll call, please? Mr. Gentile? Yes. Dr. Permenter? Yes. Mrs. Avery? Yeah. Mrs. Colgettis? Yeah. Vice President Days? Again, I hate to say yes, but with regret. And President Carmen? Yes, also with regret. Thank you. Item three is a resolution to accept with regret the letter of intent to retire from Catherine Kaspetrowski, Galloway Township Middle School teacher, effective June 30, 2022. Mrs. Petrowski has worked in the Galloway Township Public Schools for 27 years, and her dedication and service to students and staff are appreciated by our entire school family. Thank you. Can I have a motion for item three under personnel? So moved. Okay. Is there any board comment? May I have a roll call? Mr. Gentile? Yes. Dr. Permenter? Yeah. Mrs. Avery? Yeah. Mrs. Colgettis? Yeah. Vice President Days? Again, I hate to say yes, but if you were. And President Carmen? Yes. Thank you. Our next item is a resolution to accept with regret the letter of intent to retire from Anthony Sawyer, Reeds Road Elementary School Night Custodial Supervisor, effective March 31st, 2022. Mr. Sawyer worked in the Galloway Township Public School District for five years, and his dedication and service to students and staff are appreciated by our entire school family. Thank you. Can I have a motion to provide him four under personnel? So moved. Is there any word comment? May I have a roll call, please? Mr. Gentile? Yes. Dr. Permenter? Yeah. Mrs. Avery? Yeah. Mrs. Colgettis? Yeah. Vice President Days? Again, yes. And President Carmen? Yes. Thank you. Resolution 5 is to accept with regret the letter of intent to retire from Susan Keenan, Smithville Elementary School Secretary, effective June 30, 2022. Mrs. Keenan has worked in the Galloway Township Public Schools for six years, and her dedication and service to students and staff are appreciated by our entire school family. Thank you. Can I have a motion to item five under personnel? So moved. Is there any board comment? May I have a roll call? Mr. Gentile? Yes. Dr. Parmenter? Yes. Mrs. Avery? Yes. Mrs. Colgettis? Yes. Vice President Days? Repeat myself. I hate to say yes. And President Carmen? Yes. Thank you, and I should correct myself. Only one of the folks on tonight's agenda are here this evening. Uh, that's Mrs. Cooper. Uh, continuing with the agenda, item six is a letter of resignation. 
Item 7 is a family leave request. Item 8 is the approval of Gabrielle Ojeda as a school counselor in a lead position at Smithville. Item 9 is to approve Alyssa Huffley as a second grade teacher at Smithville in a lead position. Uh, resolution 10 is ex extension of Samantha Wiles' lead position at GTMS. Resolution 11 is to approve Samantha Matina, classroom assistant. Resolution 12, Savannah Pulowski as a part-time classroom assistant. Here this evening with us, Resolution 13 is to approve Katie Ayers as the district registrar. Resolution 14 is to approve Elizabeth Halstead for a full-time night studio supervisor. Resolution 15 is uh, a revision of a previously approved salary. Resolution 16 uh, is to approve substitute teachers. And Resolution 17 is to uh, approve a substitute food service worker. Thank you. Can I motion to item 6 through 17 under personnel? So moved. Is there any board comment? Man, roll call. Mr. Gentile? Yes. Dr. Permenter? Yes. Mrs. Avery? Yes. Mrs. Colgettis? Yes. Vice President Dace? Yes. And President Carmen? Yes. Supplemental personnel? Yes, I will take a moment, even though I think she smiled. Uh, we are pleased to be adding a new uh, district registrar to our district office staff. Uh, although I believe this is her first position in the education world, Ms. Ayers comes to us with a lot of uh, secretarial office and customer service, a big uh, part of being a registrar experience to the district office. So we welcome Katie. And I will add her mom, Marie Geary, is a preschool teacher in the district, and her sister, uh, who I referenced earlier, Christy, is a teacher at Rolf Rogers. So welcome uh, to the district. Welcome to the For supplemental, we have a, a replacement a team leader position, an additional participant for the novice teacher training program, staff uh, for professional development for nonviolent crisis intervention training, and a staff member to serve as the Strengthening Families Coordinator uh, for a program, and this is funded through Atlantic Prevention Resources and our ESSER funds. Thank you. Can I motion to provide this one through four under supplemental personnel? So moved. Is there any board comment? May I have roll call, please? Mr. Gentile? Yes. Dr. Parmenter? Yes. Mrs. Avery? Yes. Mrs. Colgettis? Yes. Vice President Dace? Yes. And President Carmen? Yes. Policy, please. Dr. Parmenter, is there anything for this evening? Okay. okay. Moving on to policy, please. Thank you. We have policy 2000-2010.01, pandemic policy for instruction and non-instructional operations, second reading and adoption. Policy 5131, Conduct and Discipline. There was a minor revision after the first reading, so this is the second reading and adoption. And Policy 5141.12, Face Covering, Second Reading and Adoption. Thank you. Can I motion to provide this one through three under policy? So moved. Is there any board comment? May I have a roll call, please? Mr. Gentile? Yes. Dr. Parmenter? Yes. Mrs. Avery? Yes. Mrs. Colgettis? Yes. Vice President Dace? Yes. And President Carmen? Yes, notice of public meetings. Thank you. In May and June, we have one meeting each month. The dates and times are listed, 6 o'clock, right here in the cafeteria. Thank you. And also special events? Yes. Um, the superintendent search public input meeting is May 5th, right here in the cafeteria at 6.30 p.m. I will also remind the public that there is also a, a link to complete a survey. Our district retirement reception is June 3rd at the Carriage House. Uh, details will be forthcoming. Uh, you can see the list of our spring concerts, uh, uh, like our winter concerts. We are pleased to have them back in person. And we are also happy to return the Nature Fest at Mr. B's backyard this year as well. Thank you. Old business going around the board. Mrs. Colgettis, Mrs. Avery, Dr. Parmenter. I saw the play that the middle school students put on and I was truly captivated. They did an excellent job. Excellent. And also, I would like to say, even though she left, I would like to say congratulations again to Ms. Freiling from a former technology teacher to a current technology teacher. Thank you. Mr. Gentile, Mr. Dates. And nothing from me. So we do have new business this evening. Uh, the
community government committee met, met with town council. And Ms. David, you want to provide an update? I don't think you're working. Am I working? I don't think so. Grab, uh, grab this. How's that? There we go. Okay. Um, we met with three council members, and I believe it was the township manager before their council meeting two weeks ago, and uh, we basically gave an overview on how our students were adversely affected by the pandemic, and. Uh, the reason for the tax increase, and it, it was explained our preschool aid coupled with uh, the free and reduced lunch situation and the fact that we're adding some assistance uh, part-time, and that was our reason for the increase, and uh, I thought it was a very cordial meeting. Jim was there, Annette was there, and Suzette was there. So if anybody would like to add anything, feel free. Does anybody have any questions for Mrs. Avery? Thank you, Madeline. And we do have one item for approval today. Is, is the resolution to approve the Gallagher Township Education Association contract for the 23, 24, and 25 school years. So can I have a motion to approve resolution one under new business? So moved. Any board comment? May I have a roll call, please? Mr. Gentile? Yes. Dr. Parmenter? Yes. Mrs. Avery? Yes. Mrs. Colgettis? Yes. Vice President Dace? And President Carmen? Yes. And also on behalf of the board, just to, I know, Kristen, Ed, you're here. Thank you for the cordial negotiation sessions. And, you know, it's always a pleasure. And I'm glad we were able to get it done. Thank you as well. Is there any public comment this evening? Seeing none, we do not have executive sessions, is correct? No. We do not. I will make the correction. Can I just clarify something that we're doing? We do actually have a special board meeting scheduled May 9th. I just want to make sure that that is clear. It is in everybody's calendar for um, the superintendent search. I did send a calendar invite to everybody, but I just wanted to make sure as a reminder that that was out there for everybody. Is that 6 o'clock or 7 o'clock? 6 o'clock. And that's here or in the library? In the library. I'll send out an email as well. Mrs. Halpel, thank you. I will touch base with Ms. Harris to make sure we get those dates when we do this. Thank you for the reminder. I will also mention, and as I said it, I thought it was the wrong date, the retirement reception is June 2nd, not June 3rd. Yes. yes. Okay, thank you. We have no executive session this evening. Can I have a motion to adjourn? So all in favor? Aye. Thank you. Meeting adjourned.